Ah, the sound of a bomb. One of those voices, one of those noises, one of those celebrations of the ESO world. Do you know why? This is why. Nobody likes Zergs. And I would safe to say these guys, they just don't like their day. See ya, mates. Welcome, guys, to our next set of community clips. Starting today off with some PvE. I did say you could submit it, and I do mean it. Please, by all means, guys, keep your PvE stuff coming in. PvP, roleplay, I don't care what it is, as long as it's fun. That's pretty much going to summarize this experience, to be honest, because... Yeah. Um, uh, help? Help? Mommy, help me! I don't know where I'm going! Help me! What is going on here? Oh, my God. At least it doesn't happen too often, right? I suppose we have to celebrate the small things sometimes, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But Dan is gonna be celebrating the big things. He's gonna be in this 2v1 to start with against the Stamina DK, who's looking pretty damn tanky. I have to say, winning the Spooner, pretty damn strong Stam DK stuff coming through here. Quite tanky. I haven't seen him damaged, but they are under quite major pressure from the group. Now, he is going to eventually go down here, and that is where the interesting stuff shall begin. Here we go. Takedown coming in. 3, 2, 1. See ya, mate. Celebrations in order. So what could possibly go wrong at this point? Engage time travel. Go. Go, my friend. All troopers report to the corpse. I literally have no idea why that happened, but it was cool all the same. Dan, thank you for sending the clip in, mate. I'd love it. We're dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust You search for you stay lost You search for you stay lost We are reaching for the stars to the warden theme why not another clip this one comes from doug one of my oldest and most awesome twitch viewers i thought i'd edit this one up a little bit i know some of you guys don't like it some of you guys do but hey sometimes i can't help myself all right i just hope you enjoy it plenty more content coming in the video but this is a good clip
our next clip is going to feature the Magiplar action. And this really goes to show the power of Magiplars in AoE based healing. When you have opponents that are not putting as much pressure as they really should. I absolutely love my Magiplar at the moment. I've got some great clips on it. Actually, you can expect a 1BX video with those in the near future. I should throw that out there. Quick sellout and all of that, you know? But well, you're watching my channel anyway. It's not really a sellout. I don't know. Anyway, these guys are going to slowly work through this group. Now, he's going to be using Blazing Spear as a nice AoE proc of Burning Light, as well as a big boy dot damage in this center. While supporting his teammate, it's mostly sort of a healer perspective here. He is running quite a lot of support skills. He's generally there to keep his buddies alive. Now, note that although there's only two in the group, there's probably about four in the fight, but it really starts to get crazy. At this point, they've already killed somewhere in the region of six guys. There's probably somewhere in the region of ten lying around. But we've not even been to begin the amount of damage that these guys are about to cause. Enemies pop in a barrier. They know what's coming. And still you're seeing this healing perspective. So let's try and take a bit of an analysis of the skills he's using here. Every time those bodies go down, repentance up. He's using that to keep his health up, his stamina up to manage that block. And he's running the one-hand shield to maintain that block time. Even defensive posture for the 8% cheaper cost on there. Now, outside of that, he's just trying to keep his ground base buffs up, always keeping the Blazing Spear up, both to give his friends the resources and to benefit his survival. And then he's also going to be running a selection of heals, including Mutagem and, of course, a couple of the Templar heals themselves. He's going to be using those only when necessary. He's mostly here to support and distract the damage because in the end, he's got a tanky ass build on him and his friends do not want to take the focus from so many guys. And I have to say, he does a brilliant job of that. You can see Harry Tree's health there dipping super, super low. This is one of the things that really attract me about this clip. You know, it, it's a healer's perspective. You don't get to see the healer. These guys, they do their work too. And it's dead impressive stuff that he's doing. Again, keeping a lot of control here. He's not even touching that mist form. Good. I hate that skill. But what they are about to have in the near future is the absolute cleanup. At this point, we're probably in the region of about 15, 20 kills. As you can see, the enemy is at critical mass. There's not really much is going to kill those guys. Even if these guys all ult dumped, it's going to be pretty difficult to get anywhere. So far, still good. Excellent strength on his healing, keeping Harry Tree alive there. With all of these Meteor AoEs, all of these enemy Destro ults, the lot. There are so many ground-based big boy damages on that floor. It's almost impossible to see at this point. Look at the amount of enemies. Grand Overlords, left, right, and center. Well, I'm afraid to say, Grand Overlords, that you've got less than 10 seconds. No, wait, 30 seconds to live because something deadly is about to happen. Another ultimate, a leap, another ultimate, a Nova, another ultimate, Destro, another Destro, a Meteor. Chino does not care. He is going to tank every little bit of this. Stamina getting low. He's going to get his ultimate very soon. Straight off the pot. Good to go. And here we go. Brace for impact because his buddy is coming in hot. Watch the right hand side of your screen. Absolute cleanup with the Destro. Vicious death bomb. I couldn't even count how many bodies were taken out there. But we're probably in the region of about 50 kills there. Oh my god. What a bomb. What a support play. Great work by the two of them in the group. And of course anyone else who was in that fight. Absolutely ridiculous. And lastly, to keep in the spirit of the flying, I thought we'd come over to good old Llama Snack Bar's clip. So, these guys are busy getting zerged inside the clip. I think the outcome is pretty inevitable at this point. There's a ton of enemies. Unfortunately, at this point, there is not really a lot that's ever going to save him. Apart from, of course, the loading screen. Our brilliant friend, our wonderful creature, the loading screen, is going to come visit. So off we go. We're going to pour outside of the keep and treat ourselves to a bit of loading screen action any second now. Now, how could this save me, Blobs? I'm outside the keep, you Blobs. Well, you see, these guys today, there's been a lot of flying, but Llama, he's mastered the flying act. Not only can he fly, he can control his direction, setting coordinates now, engaging position, and approaching the target. Wait. I'm inside the keep. I should point out, I skipped out like five minutes of loading screen, but that doesn't matter. We're inside the keep. We're ready to take it again. Who cares? Job done. Off we go.